I'm a nice dude. What's some nice dreams? See these ice cubes. See, all right, focus, mother chuckers. But nah, so I'm gonna give you a two for one special, all right? I'm gonna tell you the behind the scenes of two of these songs, all right? We'll do, we'll do Prone and Navajo, yeah? Yeah, we can do those, gosh. All right, so the thing about these stories, this is from my adult life, so it's not as childlike funny as the other stories. Like, this is some like, I'm a man, I be with women and we have relations. Like, it's like one of them, like, uh, all right, whatever. All right, let's start with Navajo. So Navajo is about my ex from my freshman year of college, right? So I met her freshman year of college, and it was like, you know, it, the, the, the first week of college, everyone's just open to new experiences and new friendships and, like, literally a door is wide open. And so, you know, I didn't know how to flirt with women all the way yet. All I knew how to do was joke on women. So I like, I really let her have it. <laughs> I was like, I was just, whoo, 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 whoo. and she was like, I hate you. I mean it. And I was just like, you gonna be my girlfriend one day. And uh, eventually she was, cause listen, this charm gonna get you. And uh, yeah, but I just like in the relationship, like I saw the shift in her from what she was, the way that her morals were rooted, and then the new friends that she got. And like, in a literal sense, she started slanging drugs. <laughs> like she was really like, no, I sell things now, you need something? And I was like, babe, she was like, weed. And I was like, I don't have enough money to purchase and support your dream. <laughs> but no, listen, seriously though, so it's like, Slanging things like a simian. That's a slang term for like slanging drugs. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And um, she was mixed with a lot of things. And she was like Navajo Indian. She was from here, there. It all makes sense. And there's also like a little thing in the internet where it's just like it's, a, it's negative towards Navajos and Indians and black people. I'm black. <laughs> what? Anyway, and then Shorty, like, yeah, it was a very interesting, like, there's, like, two people in the end of this, like, stop listening to his record. Like, I feel like it's a bad record because, like, I interpret it as offense. And I was like, you going to tell me what my record about that? Anyway, so just so y'all know, it's not my ex is all of these ethnicities and races. And when I first met her, she was rooted in a certain morale that was like representative of her culture and on top of that just representing just like this pure energy that was like i'm gonna marry you one day you know what i'm saying so my heart was getting all in it anyway let's get back to the lines so let me see i thought she was an indian boom 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 she be slanging things like an send me in all my life i wanted me an indian there she go now she's far away so basically she kept getting further and further away from the woman that I met. So it was just a story of heartbreak, essentially. It's like, I thought you were this, now you're that. Um, Yeah, we can break down the verse too. In the street with a wedding ring and she hit the bar. City Bay, are you down to cheat? He looked in her eye. Chivalry, is it really dead? He put out a tip, pay up, jumping right on him. All right, so in the street with a wedding ring. It's like in the street with a wedding ring to me means that you out in these streets, we all know you have a man, but like you like you looking for trouble. So she hit the bar and some dude's like, yo, city babe, are you down to cheat? And he looks in her eye and she's like, yo, chivalry, is it really dead? He's like, oh my bad, I'll pay for your services. He pulls out a tip and she's like, pay up and then jumps on him, right? And back to me, thinking, thinking was it good to intervene, then I lost her. Lost her to the world and the girls and imposters. In this game, I doubt it'll pay and it cost her. I ain't mad at me, but it hurts. Come, listen, y'all be thinking I'm just saying words. Yo, it's a, this is a poem, bro. You're welcome. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I could explain that, but essentially, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty blunt. And she was selling the my second bucks. But yeah, um, now she's only worried about the Benjamins. That's after the second chorus comes in. She was just so focused on getting money and she wanted to be on real girls and like her her goals were super tv and i was just like how do we get here you know what i'm saying like 
And she gave me my first twerk in college. And that joint, she ain't, she had a little booty too. You know how I be like a booty? She ain't even have yams. And I was just like, I appreciate this twerk because I worked for it. You know what I'm saying? She was not giving me no play. And then she was like, your charm is just, my heart is just ascending. And I'm just like, yeah, welcome to the world. Anyway, so yeah, that's essentially Navajo though. So whatever you thought it was, it's a story about my ex. <laughs> so stop asking me about it. It makes me hurt inside. Anyway, two for one special. It's a five minute video. I mean, the F, what else you doing? So like uh, prone. Ooh, that is out. <laughs> I don't know if I feel like doing that right now. Hi, um, nah, bro, my mama gonna watch this too. We'll do prone another day. I'm gonna figure out ways to like uh, combine it <laughs> with something more jovial and uh, childlike. Anyway, see these ice cubes, see these ice creams. <laughs> anyway.